Welcome back everyone. This video may seem a bit redundant for some of my viewers because I did a similar video when I installed this dishwasher um, a couple days ago, about half a week ago. And um, I thought I would kind of do something a little more specific to the appliance itself. Um, so if you want a little backstory on the appliances that I have in my home and uh, what happened to my Frigidaire dishwasher, you can watch that video and it's in great detail. So, yes, I replaced a $400 Frigidaire dishwasher builder grade special with this. And uh, this, is an, this is an ASCO, uh, which is made in Slovenia. ASCO is a Swedish brand. They're not very well known in the U.S. In fact, uh, they're, they're, they're almost unheard of here in the United States. ASCO has been in the U.S. since 1987, um, and they're known for three things. Dishwashers washers and dryers and that is it um, so if you're looking to buy an ASCO dishwasher or you know and you want a matching set of ASCO appliances that's not going to happen for you um, not in the US anyway so it's perfectly acceptable if you're if you're really into matching appliance brands which is really a fool's errand but if that's what you're doing it's perfectly acceptable to mix an ASCO dishwasher with basically any brand of appliance as long as it matches somewhat. Anyway, um, in the United States, ASCO is actually serviced and distributed by the Sub-Zero brand. So we're not talking about something you're going to find at your local Home Depot. Um, ASCOs are only sold through appliance dealers um, and not big box retailers. I would say they, as far as quality and who their competition is, you're looking at um, some of the upper end uh, Bosch uh, dishwashers, um, I would say Mealy, and um, maybe some of the higher end KitchenAid products. Um, they're a very expensive dishwasher. They start at $988. Are nine, uh, just under $1,000 is their starting price for their base model units. Um, this appliance here is actually four years old. I bought it off the dealer floor. Um, so just a little bit of backstory. I needed a dishwasher and I wanted it now. I'm like that girl that turned into the blueberry in that movie about the candy. So <laughs> I, I wanted it now and I didn't care what it cost. Um, I, but I, want, I wanted a quality unit. I could have had a Frigidaire that day, um, but after a very bad experience with the one I had before, um, after two years, it started melting my dishes. The same dishes, by the way, that I had been washing in it since I bought it. So clearly there was a malfunction in the heating control circuit, and I wasn't having any of that. I wasn't going to fix it. Out the door it goes. Actually. That dishwasher has been reinstalled in my coworker's house that he is selling. He is going to repair it. And, uh, yeah, so. I heard you climbing that screen. Yeah, if you have cats, you know, they eat screens. So that dishwasher is going to live another day. Um, he is going to replace the control circuit board, I believe, and he's going to, yeah. Anyway, so. Let's, let's move on. So the model number on this unit, um, let's get into that first before I dig in too deep. This is a, uh, da, 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 where is it? D5656XXL HS slash TH. This is, um, so in 2016 when this was sold new, it uh, retailed for around $1,700. It was seventeen fifty or some change like that. So it was not an inexpensive appliance. And what makes it so expensive is the sheer amount and grade of stainless steel that they use in these units. Uh, the entire chassis is steel, um, and all the beauty surfaces, the um, the interior, and the plumbing and everything inside it is all stainless. I actually deliberately left dishes in here so I could show you how the dishes kind of lay out in this unit. So there's a little bit of friction between these plates. 
in the top rack or the the top of the the unit. This is where you put your glasses. Um, these one of the things I like about the ASCO units is they're very flexible. Um, you have special spots for knives. I still haven't figured out what this rack is for yet. I'll I'll get to that someday. Um, but you've got your dish rack here, your, your glass rack here. This holds standard size drinking glasses. And then you've got another level down. So they can kind of fit like this as well. If you don't want to put dishes or glasses there, you can just fold this down. I mean, these are so flexible. Um, these these uh, dish racks are so flexible um, that they can pretty much be used for anything. And if you have larger dishes, larger than your standard dinner plate, they won't fit in the bottom rack, um, not by default. Uh, so this is where your dishes would go. So you would take this middle rack, which holds your cutlery, not your cutlery, but your, your utensils, and uh, I use this bin for plastic um, food containers because it keeps them in place. They don't flop around and flip over. Um, but that bin, those bins can come out and so can the entire rack. So you can pull the whole rack out and you have more vertical space. If you want to take, um, like my previous dishwasher, the racks were not even removable at all without hand tools. Uh, you could take all the racks out of this unit if you want to and put a lobster pot down in there if you choose to do so. Very flexible design. So before I go far too far into the weeds on features, um, I did buy this unit off the floor. It was a four year old leftover. Um, it was not a display, it was in the crate, shrink wrapped banded down, um, it was never unpacked. And um, they had marked it down from, you know, from 1750 or so to 988. So I paid for this unit here, I paid what I would pay for an, either a really nice uh, entry level Bosch or perhaps even another a lower end ASCO model. But the benefit was I was able to walk out with it that day. And I might add, the sheer weight of this unit is just incredible. I mean, I'm not a very very buff guy, but I was able to weasel it into my car and then uncrate it, I'm sorry, and get it into the house without a hand truck, but it was not easy. I had to go end over end over end getting it into the house. Um, it was a nightmare. Um, unfortunately, all my hand carts are at my parents' house because I had just helped them move. Um, so anyway, what makes this unit so heavy is it's so well made. Um, it weighs about one and a half times what my previous dishwasher weighed. I don't have exact figures in my head. I don't have the spec sheet in my hand either, but um, yeah, it's really, really well put together. In fact, it's evident. If you go into an appliance store, first of all, go to Lowe's. Go to Home Depot, go to your big box retailers, grab the dishwasher, open it up, and flex the door. This one is the stiffest door I've seen on any dishwasher. Um, but a stiff door does not make it a good dishwasher. It has to do with how many nozzles it has, how much pressure the pump can produce, where the nozzles are located, and basically the whole engineering of the design. So, um, unlike your lower end dishwashers that you get from Frigidaire, even some Whirlpools, it does not have an exposed heating element. I mean, if you look in the bottom of the, of the stainless steel tub here, there's no heating element to be seen. These do not use um, the heating element to dry the dishes. So, like a Bosch, um, this uses the water's heat, the heat used to wash the dishes um, the hotter the water it gets, the more likely it is to evaporate and collect and then pool in the bottom where the pump will take care of it. But what the ASCO does that some, Bo I think some, some Boshes have a feature similar to this, but it has a fan drying option. Turbo dry, they call it. I think this has what they call Turbo Dry Plus, and it has... Um, and I might get these, I might get the terms wrong on a few things, so please bear with me on this. I'm not a professional appliance reviewer, okay? <laughs> so, there's a fan um, in the door, and there's one also under the unit behind that cover over there, and I believe there's an air intake over on that side. And what it does is it uses all that residual heat plus air movement 
to dry the dishes to an almost spotless dry, an almost complete. I've run three cycles in it so far, one really full, one half full, and in each instance, it did a fantastic job of drying everything at the end. Um, better than any dishwasher I've had before, using less energy. One of ASCO's claims to fame is they're more energy efficient, use less water, get less electricity than their competition. Um, and it's not surprising because in Europe, they actually care about the earth and they generally build things to be more energy efficient through sometimes even over engineering. But, you know, when you live in a region where oil is expensive, gas is a scarcity, um, you tend to design things to compensate for that. In the United States, if they made diesel powered dishwashers, they would be selling them out every week. I love the appearance of this model. This is, um, so they have a couple of different basic layouts of their, of their face plate um, or of the, of the door. So this is the towel bar model. And uh, some of them have a, like a push-in handle that goes right about here. I don't like the way that looks. I like the way the towel bar and, the, and just the plain monolithic appearance of this machine looks in this kitchen. This is designed to be in a kitchen in a house costing magnitudes more than this house costs. In fact, the, the average house I think that a $1,700 dishwasher is going to go into probably cost as much as this city block. Um, so, <laughs> you know, it's it's a bit, it's we're dishwasher poor, or dishwasher, yeah, I think that's how that goes. But I love how it, look, it, it doesn't, what I like about it is it doesn't invoke any particular design aesthetic other than, um, possibly minimalism it um, like for example this fr this refrigerator this is kind of a polarizing design it's, it's sleek it's curved the whole front of the fridge is is kind of curved um, so it doesn't it, 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 it evokes a particular era in design and that being probably the late 2000s even though it was made two years ago this dishwasher does not evoke any particular era. Um, it would look at home in basically any kitchen. I did run into some problems though because the it was designed to fit, you know, in a modern kitchen, you know, in a, in a purpose-built dishwasher opening, uh, which is exactly you know what 24 inches wide and edges are smooth and perfectly cut and beautiful bull nose countertop, probably granite. Uh, this opening is not, it's not, it, there used to be a cabinet here and the previous homeowner, probably 40 years ago, he cut one of the cabinets out and he did it with what looks like either a handsaw or a butcher knife. And the edges aren't smooth. So having a dishwasher that does not allow for any overlap on either side, it's just a perfect straight edge, top, bottom, sides, it doesn't look right. So I did a little bit of brainstorming. I used aluminum angle stock to create a frame around the dishwasher opening to make it look you know, more at home. The consequence of that is when I go to pull the dishwasher out when I redo this floor, which I will be doing probably sooner than later, I'm going to have to pull all that off. I use construction adhesive to attach it, so it's going to be a pain in the ass, but I have to do it. Um, but I love how it looks. It looks like it belongs there, like it was built for this kitchen. Um, I mean, just, I just really like it. I mean, you can, you can hold any opinion you wish. Um, I like it. My girlfriend likes it. Everybody's happy, but you know. So functional functionality wise, um, if you did not have this little handy chart, you would not know how to use this machine. Um, so it automatically powers up when you open the door and it lights up too when you open the door a certain amount. I think it's a tilt sensor in the door that does that. Wouldn't be surprised. Um, so the dishwasher lights up. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but you got lights everywhere. And here's how it works. You press the program button until you find the program you wish. 
the average person is either going to use the heavy wash or the normal wash. You press program until you find the program you wish to use. I'm still not clear on what hygiene wash is, but sanitation wash is the hottest, longest wash cycle it offers. And that's mainly for, um, I guess, I guess what it would be, basically be, it would be for, you know, disinfecting dishes, disinfecting pots and pans and such. So sanitation wash and hygiene wash are, I have to read up on those. But quick wash is pretty obvious. It's just a quick, you got a couple of drinking glasses in there, you run a quick wash. Or if it's, let's say you had a cocktail party and you all had, you know, you had like shot glasses and, and uh, wine glasses and all that crap. Basically just liquid uh, soiled um, dishes. You could just do a quick wash. Um, and then you've got your delicate wash. That's for, I believe, according to the manual, that was um, for wine glasses and delicate crystals and stuff. Eco wash is, again, lowest power, no heated options, nothing. And then you've got, this is quite nice, upper half and lower half wash. So you could load up, let's say you had a, that cocktail party and you just loaded up the top rack with glasses and there was nothing in the bottom. What it would do is it would only fire the nozzles that matter to the top rack. So it's separated into two zones. Pull this out. If you look clear in the back there, this is uh, one zone. All right. And then that actually connects to, yeah. So there's, there's, there's one zone, there's, there's two zones. And then this, connector here, this, this rod, this, or this pipe that's coming out towards me, that interlocks with the, um, the upper wash bar, nozzle bar. So with the top rack option selected, it would only wash or, or use the nozzles and whatnot for this section of the machine. And then you've got your lower wash, which only would, would activate the bottom um, spray nozzle and uh, maybe a couple of other nozzles that are pertinent to the lower end of the dishwasher. Um, so that is great for energy savings if you're just washing a few, you know, select items. Um, these icons are a bit confusing. Um, if you look on the chart here, it just boldens the selected zone. So they look very similar, but if you look closely, really close lower wash upper wash it just bolts this one and then it bolts this one rinse and hold um i believe that's just for a quick rinse and then um i should probably read more if i'm going to make a video of how to use it i'm not making a video on how to use it i'm just kind of describing what this dishwasher does and all the options you can do your own research if you want to um and as always you can always select if if applicable um, you can select um, different temperature options. So let's go ahead back to, this is your, your timed program. This is pretty, um, pretty customizable. You just select the amount of time you want it to run in particular. So if you want it to run for an hour and a half, and then you want, it doesn't let you change the heat options. But for sanitation wash, I can select high temperature wash and extended dry. And then I can set it to um, delayed start for one hour, two hours, three, all the way up to, I think it's, let's see how high it goes. Wow, impressive. Almost 24 hours. I can make it start 24 hours from now. That's pretty cool. Um, for my standard wash, which is my normal wash, which is what I'm going to run in a few minutes, I usually select the um, heated, or the, I'm sorry, the the uh, the long dry option. Basically, what that does is it runs the fans a little longer. And then I put my high temperature. I like to use high temperature washes because it keeps the temperature up and does a better job of sanitizing the dishes. I can also do a delayed start, or yeah, it doesn't let me. Um, what does that do? Time saver. Okay, so time saver, it uh, reduces the amount of time that it runs the wash cycle.
but it doesn't give me any heated options or drying options. So it's pretty uh, pretty nifty uh, little machine. Um, so anyway. Now, one thing that's nice about, we talked about the flexibility a little bit of these dish racks. Let's talk about the racks themselves. Um, they're, they're sliding on stainless steel rollerball um, style glides. Uh, the wheels are just a plastic with a, it looks like a rollerball or a ball bearing, um, which is kind of nice. Uh, they're ball bearing wheels, as they appear to be. To remove the rack, you simply snap these out, these little stops here, and then you just pull the rack out with two hands and it's totally removable. You can't do this on some of the lower end models from say Frigidaire. Um, the racks are in a fixed position. Is it worth paying a thousand or a lot? <laughs> Is it worth paying $1,200 more for that option? Um, depends on how much you value your customizable racks. To raise and lower the rack, you just grab these two little uh, latches here and then lift or drop it down. I think this one's in the upper position right now. No, it's not. It's in the lower position, so I'm just gonna go like that. And now, I can fit larger items in the middle basket, but I can't fit my plates in here anymore. I almost broke that plate. I'm gonna lower it back down again. This is the only rack that is height adjustable. The other racks don't do that. Do they? they probably do. No, these are in a fixed position. So the racks allegedly are coated with a, with a uh, material that contains graphite. Um, so I believe that makes them easier to clean and uh, makes them a little more durable. Um, so there's that. One, there's a couple issues I have with this machine that I know will be a problem as this machine gets older. And that is the use of plastics on the racks. Um, they're used, plastics are used extensively in the adjustable rack positioners, or the, the adjustable tine positioners. Um, these are probably going to break in the future. And given the fact that, like this one right here, this looks to be pretty flimsy. Um, this is your, this is by the way, a vase holder. So if you want to wash a vase, that's what that's for. Um, it's just crazy how customizable this dishwasher really is because I'm not used to seeing that. But these right here, when you, when you readjust the tines into a particular position, you have to use your thumb and pull these back. But again, as plastics age, we all know, they can get fragile, very brittle, in fact. So we'll, we'll uh, look out for that, see, see if that becomes an, uh, a problem. So these wheels are not ball bearing, or maybe they are. I hear ball bearings. I don't know about you, but I hear ball bearings. So unlike some older model dishwashers and less expensive models, at least the ones that I've interacted with over the years, uh, there is no garbage disposal built into this machine. Um, rather, it uses filters. And I, from what I understand, this is quite common these days. Um, it makes it a quieter machine, apparently. Uh, but to remove the filter basket, you just unlock it from here. This is your large particle filter. And when this comes out, this is your small particle filter. And then you've got your basin filter. And then your pump is down there. I mean, overall, the appliance has a very high quality feel to it. I mean, we're not, we're not dealing with a frigid air here. This is a, this is a pretty high quality, well-made unit. Now, whether that translates to increased longevity serviceability and reliability remains to be seen. Because as we all know, high quality does not mean reliability. And there is a lot that can go wrong in this machine. Um, but what's nice about it is it does feature an automatic shutoff if it ever develops a leak. There's a stainless steel pan underneath the dishwasher uh, with a water level sensor in it. 
And if there's ever a breach of any pump seals or anything, anything within the dishwasher cabinet itself, if any seals ever fail, what's going to happen is that water has one place to go and it's in that pan. When the pan floods, it'll produce an error code and or stop working. I believe it's an F11 error code on the LCD panel. So what's nice is, you know, you won't have that dishwasher that leaks for years and years and then you don't realize it until it's too late and you've got structural damage to your property. That's pretty smart. And I know that Bosch does the same thing. And I'm not sure about any other brands, but I can tell you for a fact that my $350, $400 Frigidaire did not have that feature. Uh, it wasn't leaking, but fortunately, <laughs> it wasn't leaking. But it did not have any feature that had anything to do with protecting your own property. What's unique about this machine, and, and I mean, again, I, I'm used to cheaper dishwashers, but it features um, a hard piped well, a, a built-in drain hose as well as a water supply hose. These to, and the power cord is also hardwired to the machine. Um, it can be rewired for Romex, and um, but you cannot remove the, the drain hose. It is not a removable part, um, nor can you remove the water supply line. It's a PEX water supply line, and it didn't actually fit my uh, my dishwasher valve right here. Uh, so there's our PEX line that came with it. The drain hose came with it, and that was just barely long enough to go to the garbage disposal. Where I live, we don't use um, vacuum breakers. In fact, I don't even believe the local stores sell them, like the local hardware and plumbing supply stores. I don't believe they carry them. And in New Hampshire, we don't have that as a mandate. In fact, I've never seen one before until I went to California. And for those of you who don't know, it's a, um, a, an, air, an air gap or vacuum break. I can just call it an air gap. It's a little device that sits usually right about here in your sink. And um, it allows water to flow. Like once there's water flowing into it, it closes a valve. And uh, water kind of it flows up into this device and then back down into your garbage disposal or into your drain. As soon as the water stops flowing, a valve opens up and creates an air gap between the, the appliance and the drain or the, the sewer system. Again, in New Hampshire, that's not a thing. So I believe the hose is intentionally short because they expect you to install it with one of those in mind. So that, that, that kind of caught me off guard. The hose is way too short uh, otherwise but it was just long enough to connect to my garbage disposal without any additional lengthening. So I've just added a few more dishes and I'm gonna go ahead and start a cycle. And I'm not really sure how much soap to use. I'm just using that little gradient there. Uh, they do recommend uh, powdered, uh, powdered detergent. I've already filled my, uh, my uh, jet dry port tank, which goes here. Uh, what's nice about this machine is it has a, um, a handy indicator that will tell you if your uh, drying agent uh, tank is, is empty. So that's very helpful. So let's go ahead and start a, um, a standard cycle. Um, I'm going to do high temperature, additional, additional dry. That's oh, that's heavy wash. We don't want a heavy wash. We want to. Uh, we're going to do the. Um, normal wash. The normal wash is a coffee cup and saucer. Additional heat and uh, additional dry. Press the start button and it's ready to go. Close the door. It gives you a cycle counter or cycle timer. It's estimating it at 311 which is a great band by the way. And here we go. Um, so this is a very quiet machine. I believe it's rated for 44 decibels. Um, compared to the cement mixer Frigidaire that I had previously, um, I mean, it really sounded like somebody parked a dump truck in the middle of the kitchen and just left it on a high idle. Um, <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad, but it was loud. 
You don't really know how loud your dishwasher is until you install one that's a lot quieter. I guess that's pretty freaking obvious, isn't it? Now let me tell you something. So I bought this as a leftover. I did not realize, and I asked the, 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 the sales clerk, I bought it from an appliance dealer that sells Sub-Zeros, Vikings, they even sell Frigidaires and Whirlpools and KitchenAids and all that happy stuff. And I said, this is a new unit, right? I mean, obviously it was shrink wrapped and everything. He says, of course it is. I said, so it has a warranty. Oh yes, a one year warranty, sir. I'm like, great. And he said, would you like to buy a five-year warranty with this device? And it was 150 bucks. And I said, you know, I'm going to chance it. <laughs> I spent $988 in a dishwasher. I'm going to chance it. I'm not very smart. Anyway, he said, well, okay, no problem. Have a nice day. And he helped me out to my car and everything. Well, as soon as I got home, I realized after looking at the packaging that it had a production date of like, uh, it was December or January of 2016. And I'm thinking to myself, shit. <laughs> uh, this thing probably doesn't have a factory warranty anymore. So I actually called the customer service line, which patched me through to Sub-Zero. Look at me with my Sub-Zero. Oh. <laughs> anyway. It's like buying a Mercedes-Benz from, or a Hyundai from a Mercedes-Benz dealer. Um, so I said, I, 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 I actually registered the appliance. I, 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 I did it over the phone. I gave her my serial number, I gave her my information. Very nice, and I heard her voice. Oh, this is, a, this is from 2016. And I said, yeah. She says, well. And she started asking me questions. Where did I buy it? She wanted a copy of the invoice. And I said, well, I bought it. And then she said, well, it must have been a display unit. And, and um, I said, no, no, it was, it, was, it was crated. Oh, really? Okay. And she, I heard keyboard clacking in the background. And she said, well, here's what I can do for you. I'm thinking to myself, okay. No warranty, but she'll give me a discount on parts or some bullshit. She said, no, um, you are eligible for the full warranty. We, we, we updated the sales date to, to reflect that it was sold four years after it was shipped out from our factory. And, um, and I'm waiting for this. We'll give you six months or we'll give you a year. No, you get the full two year warranty from the factory which also covers cosmetic damage. And I'm thinking to myself, really? What planet am I living on? <laughs> so it came with a factory two year warranty that covers soup to nuts. And I couldn't believe it. I, I was expecting to find out that I just bought a dishwasher without any warranty and paid a bloody fortune for it. No. Apparently, when you buy an ASCO, they care about you. I was actually going there to order a Bosch dishwasher. Um, it was the entry-level model, the Essentia, Essentio or something to that effect. And that was the plan. And the price was so close between what I was going to buy and this that I figured rather than wait a month for the Bosch, I can leave with this unit in my car today and I'd be walking out with a much better machine in terms of features and build quality than the low-end Bosch I was looking at. I mean, it was kind of a no-brainer. I, I just, it was only, I spent about $300 more on this machine than I would have if I got the Bosch. Um, and because the appliance shortage is still very, very real, um, getting that Bosch dishwasher could have taken as long as a month and a half or two. Um, I've heard appliances stores promising appliance appliance stores uh, promising you know oh you'll get it in two weeks you'll get it in three weeks and it can actually take months. I, I know a couple that bought a new washer and dryer in December and still have not received those appliances. So I figured you know what it's not Chinese made it's made in Slovenia. Um, I'm sure they know how to build washers there, dishwashers, and it matches the kitchen. It really looks good in the kitchen, it sounds great. 
Um, under normal circumstances, I would have never, ever in a million years bought this machine. Um, but I'm glad I did. And that's my story. So to you Americans who have never heard of ASCO, it is, oh yeah, I, I was talking to a friend who was also looking at buying a dishwasher. And he asked me, what did you get? And I said, oh, I bought an ASCO. And he thought it was like a Chinese, you know, just another run-of-the-mill, like, Hayer and um, all those random brand names that just popped up on the market overnight from China. That's what he thought. it. And he's like, well, is it any good? Are they reputable? And I said, well, here's some information on the company. Um, you know, they're just not very well, they're not very well known because they're so expensive. Um, and they're not in Lowe's and Home Depot. You can only get them from a dealer and a dealer that happens to carry the brand. Now, because they're serviced by Sub-Zero, um, they have a lot of, um, they ha the Sub-Zero distribution network is carrying these products. So any store that sells Sub-Zeros should have these, I believe. Um, and the dish, uh, the washing machine and dryer products as well, the clothing laundry machines that they offer. Now, when it comes time to buying you laundry machines, um, I'm actually going to go American. I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with Speed Queen. So, you know, that's that's the plan. Speed Queen is uh, is an American-owned and built product, and um, I've heard so so many good things about even even their cheaper products. I've heard good things about them in comparison to some other brand names. So when my Samsungs eventually die off, that's what I'm buying. So thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, now you know there is a, another luxury dishwasher brand that you've never heard of. <laughs> Until then. Okay, let's see how, how dry these came out. Okay, so the door is completely dry. Dishes are dry. Dry as a bone. Look at that. The lids aren't melted up. Love a little water in there. Not enough to say it's. There. How about these? Oh, uh, 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 uh. a little bit of water there. Still though. It's not bad. It's not bad at all.